but it seems now that in the mixed commercial development, the shopping mall ceases to be mall, but just becomes the glue that holds everything together. It's more a connectivity between other buildings, other uses. It becomes more like a series of decks, public access platforms. Some may be air-conditioned, some may be closed, some may be open. Many different facilities occurring, maybe parks, maybe walkways open coffee areas, alfresco dining, as well as indoor areas. Like a social platform that where a lot of things can happen there is flexible space. So flexible space in shopping mall, they're actually event space. You can have shows and brand launch. You can do musical arts festival and uh, you keep refreshing the programs and so people can come and visit repeatedly. I mean, a year ago, we used to talk about malls having to be entertainment platforms yeah, or people yeah. wouldn't go. Yeah. But now we talk about malls being social platforms and that being enough. You don't have to force the entertainment issue. No, I think it will come naturally. And now we have LED, we have moving stages, we have, we have holograms. Yes. There's so many different ways to activate that space mm. that we don't need the traditional black box theatre anymore. Exactly. And even better is for drawing people and um, getting the people's interaction because the shops and restaurants benefit from those they're activities, all they're, they're all around. around. Yes, yes. And um, while you're there and uh, you engage with mm. the activities already, mm. so just getting another layer of meaning mm. for going out together, mm. enjoying your time is, a um, yeah, having fun. It becomes a social hub for that district. Yes, it's yeah. a shop attainment. Yeah, you get entertained while you shop. Perfect. I think before retail was very one-dimensional in many ways because with the, it was the conventional wisdom, the rent drops 20% on each floor as you go up until you get to level four or level five. And it seems like, oh, the retail rent has dropped so much. You might as well start your office at level five because the rents are about the same. Mm. So that's a very one-dimensional approach. But now with the mixed use development, so where is it office or where is it restaurant or where is it a club? This is a much uh, less defined boundary. So that fifth elevation, instead of occurring always at level five, mm. now occurs sometimes at level nine, sometimes at level three, sometimes at level four. So the roofscape becomes a very complex uh, three-dimensional roofscape. That, that division between office or hotel or Soho and retail has vanished. And one of the reasons you say is the socialization of retail, that, that an office tenant wants to have a closer continuity to the roofscape and to the retail. And the retailers therefore also much more happy to come up into the more social aspects of office use. Do you see the possibility that office space retail, and I won't call it retail anymore, office space and public social space start to merge more and more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is also that uh, one of the things we're looking at, a new model of doing mixed use. When um, the client asks for office, yeah, because of the regulation thing uh, and the fire escape and so and so forth. and. Um, they have got a very distinguished uh, like the capacity calculation, etc. But then the client always asks us to do is to get some flexibility of the space design can be converted to one another in the future. Like what is supposed to be retail can be converted to office and office vice versa converted to be retail. Mm -hmm. So this is a very interesting like this is the future because what we are doing in design and drawing now will be built in five years. Yeah. So you may not see a lot right now in this market, but imagine that a few years later, that is become a trend leading the market. Yeah. So exactly. we have to always put ourselves in the future thinking, what is the best? Mm. We don't know yet. We're exploring every day, but I think uh, we, this is the question that all the designers should ask themselves mm. every day.